While over innocent gamers were saying that Modern Warfare 2 is a dead game, well, simply put, ladies and gentlemen, just like how you cannot stop Ragnarok from happening in God of War, you agree, right? Bruh. Just like that, you cannot stop the emo version of Blame Truth from happening. I know that sounds kind of crazy. Bruh. I know you want to, like, go off in the comments and say, go off, right? Because, yeah, we are under that 3000 devs era. We are under that Bobby Kotick regime as well. But guess what? We have a movie to catch today, ladies and gentlemen. We got a lot of toxic problematic content to review out there i want to get right into the story love y'all for 10 10 000 likes on the last video i i just cannot even compute love y'all for that uh maybe this time let's go for two likes but check this okay i want to show you and i need your thoughts okay i want to i want to see you go off because apparently infinity wars blog also appears to confirm that dmz mode is launching as a <laughs> as a beta and quickly after like people just couldn't even compute okay this is apparently the picture and let me show you guys the replies infinity war should never be allowed to make a game again after the feedback they call it a beta three years and this call of duty feels the most unfinished Oh, wow. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. And guess what? We have a movie to catch. Stop selling popcorn for a buck fifty. You can sell it for ten dollars. For ten dollars. And let me tell you this DMZ was known to be launching as a beta. Bruh. I know, like, you're like, Asakula, that you're actually spitting out haram. You're lying. But listen, for the longest amount of time, we heard that DMZ was also in development for like five yeah. five years. I want to talk about it. I know I, I cannot even compute that number. But alongside that, we also did hear that DMZ is going to be launching as a beta. It's not after the feedback. It's not after people start saying that hey, 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 Modern Warfare 2 is a dead game that they are doing it. Okay, but check this. Okay, I'm ready, y'all. I don't think you're ready. Check this. For you here today. So, if you followed this channel for any amount of time, you probably know what I'm all about. I'm the guy Toxic, problematic. that goes into the bar or the restaurant and gets the usual, the regular. I'll mm. take a 6v6 multiplayer, hold the safe spaces, hold the skill-based matchmaking, extra noobs. You know, that's what I like, that's what I've been doing since okay. Call of okay. Duty 4 on this channel. I like me traditional multiplayer. But my guy, you gotta like try out different food too. Life is all about spice. Maybe you gotta try out like the ground war. You gotta try out a little bit of that war zone. I mean, you gotta try out different stuff Butter. too, man. Fast paced, somewhat arcadey action is what I like. Wrong. Wrong. It's no longer fast paced. For those who may not know, it's Black Ops 2. Surprise, surprise. It's the best Call of Duty to this day. It's oh, been wow. a pretty Facts. much downhill descent. That what is your favorite Call of Duty? Mine has to be Black Ops 2 as well. Smash the like button if you played Black Ops 2 at launch. The game came out, but I'm still that sticking with was... the series because well, I'd rather do this than work at McDonald's. This guy's gonna get a tea bag for his trouble, by the way. Eat Damn. shit, sir. Anyway, guys, um, I, I want to cover this news today, though, because this is like the one thing I was looking to branch out into. You guys know I don't like war games. I, I don't give a fuck about it's going down video but again toxic about br i think br is for old people and children dads playing on their 65 inch tvs and kids that are very very good at stealing mommy's credit Damn. card info not a fan of br yo any dads with 65 inch tv watching this video are you really gonna take this Bruh. as an insult Damn, you know son. a lot of people say like oh but br is fun with friends b team more 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 you know what else is fun with friends <laughs> going out and touching grass just like call it's not gay to call your male friends guys trust Damn. me i call my male friends every night on the dot at 137 a.m. and ask for a little I mean, bruh. Like, what? But, but you gotta understand this blame truth. Not everybody got friends. We're in the year 2022. People don't have friends. I mean, smash the like button, subscribe right now if I'm spinning facts, but listen, I got a small circle of friends. It's actually really good to maybe sometimes go out, hit the grass, uh, don't go after Pom Pom, I mean, like, Bruh. like, come on, guys, like, Pom Pom can lead a man to dangerous places, just put that in your, put that in your mind, okay, like, stop chasing the Pom Pom, chase your dreams, eat healthy, drink more water, okay, exercise regularly, do what makes you scared, okay, like, do that, chase your dreams, follow your path, be a Chad. I, I know you're a Chad, but you know what I mean? Like, be like a Chad. Stop chasing Pom Pom. It can lead you on a dangerous path. Back to the meat and potatoes here. I want to cover DMZ. All right, so I was actually looking forward to this. It sounds like Tom Clancy's The Division a little bit. Sounds Damn. like old school DayZ a little bit. I was looking forward to it. And Infinity War dropped some news on us about it today. And I, I shouldn't be surprised. Like, I, I oh, kind of wow. am surprised, but I really should not be surprised. Let's just check out what Charlie Intel says about it. Un ow, ow, it's about to go down, boys. Start selling your popcorn for $10. Pretty sure everyone would buy. It's going to sell out, Twitter. Man. 
They say Infinity Ward's blog also appears to confirm that the DMZ mode is launching as a quote unquote beta. <laughs> a beta. Well, at least they have the balls to say that it is a beta, but think of it like this. Modern Warfare Roman numeral 2, 2022 Electric Boogaloo is dormant time. Vanguard, wrong, wrong Vanguard bitch. All launched as complete game. Wrong, wrong. but <laughs> the brakes. Yo, guys, 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 listen. I need your honest thoughts on this one, right? Because I trust you. I really do. You got something good going on. Yeah, you. I'm not talking the guy behind you, okay? You. Yes, you. Okay, focus. Van garbage, or... Wrong. This time, let's actually call it Vanguard, okay? I want to make Slushy happy for the first time. Let's call it Vanguard and Ivan. I, 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 I Before you like, I suck for lot like it's Van garbage. How dare you? Skizzle, how dare you actually say that? But listen. Vanguard, or Van Goated, as Slushy would put it, it launched with 16 multiplayer maps. I just cannot even compute, bro. 16, 16 multiplayer maps, I just cannot even compute. And Modern Warfare 2 ended up releasing with 11 multiplayer maps. Yeah, you can envision it got that map, it got that ground war. But another thing, and this is one of those things I'm not sure if I should tell you because if you don't know about it, I don't want to tell you, right? Because if you know about it, maybe I'll talk about it in a bit. But if I tell you this now, and if you're liking Modern Warfare 2, then you're going to be a little bit disappointed. So it's like, if you're liking it, I don't want to ruin it. I personally am enjoying the gameplay. Like, I actually like it. I mean, damn, I like it. But I do agree that 11 minutes, 11 minutes. Can a brother perhaps get a little bit more for the 6v6? Because if someone only loves 6v6, then this game is kind of lacking. And on top, you got like three maps that are in hot water. I believe one of them is fine that racing map is now fine but the hotel map and there was another museum map they are getting cucked out right hopefully they won't but you know what i mean right to say they were a beta yet they were launched pretty much as betas if not alphas and i'm not exaggerating there i mean especially vanguard oh my Wrong. god the lack of polish on that game and it was marketed <laughs> as a full release like that game was think about all the missing content in modern warfare roman numeral 2 here and it's marketed as a full game no combat record, no calling cards, no challenges, Damn. weapons missing that were promised on launch, things that were promised on launch that mysteriously vanished, maps gone, maps gone because of copyright, a UI that's so <laughs> bad that Stevie Wonder would, would regain his sight just to look at it and go <laughs> blind again. Yeah, you know, at this point, what I think, seriously, even if Activision decides to put like a buttox therapy in the package, Bruh. it will still not satisfy the Call of Duty players. And it's quite true, man. Listen, man. I mean, damn, man. DMZ, we heard that was in development for five years, five years. And now I, I it's, it's now coming out and they're calling it beta. I just cannot even compute, bro. It, it's that bad. This UI, I mean, you can feel, you can feel the sluggishness and the just overall dog shit. And on this UI talk, ladies and gentlemen, apparently we did hear that Activision hired someone from like Hulu, uh, someone Bruh. from Netflix, and they actually came to design the UI. And there are people that are even the, the casuals. And the, the funniest part here is that they got skill-based matchmaking in the game for the casual players, right? Bruh. Right, right. And there are streamers that are trying to be toxic, problematic, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna use a foot pedal. We're gonna bypass and there are streamers that are bypassing that just dunking on the the, the, the the noobs They're going extra hard on that. That's like whatever, right? This game is, is made for the casual players Skill based match again tells us everything but the UI is the complete opposite you look at the UI my guy Bruh. Bruh. You look at that you lose brain cells like damn. I mean navigating the menus It, it feels like I'm a 500 pound sumo wrestler with an elephant strapped to my back waiting for through mud in the <laughs> goddamn jungles of Vietnam in Crocs. Old Crocs. Crocs you got off like Wish or something. That's what it feels like. I, that's a weird way to describe it. But until you've played this game and have tried to navigate the menus, my god, I have never felt such sluggish menus. Call of Duty has pretty much always been smooth as silk before Modern Warfare 2019 came out. Like, even the bad Wrong. Call of Duties are just the ones I didn't like. Like Everything was just really smooth about it. High frame rate, nice Wrong. polish. Everything at least looked good now, and Now, actually, actually facts, though. Actually, like, actually facts. Boom, look up. They've just done away with that entirely. It's so bad. But let, let's get back to DMZ here. The fact that they are marketing this as a beta, God knows how bad it's going to actually be, guys. God <laughs> knows how bad it's going to actually be. And I want to reiterate here, 3,000 devs worked on this game <laughs> over there the course of three is, years. There it is! There it is! 3,000! 
3,000, 3,000 deaths, three years. But guys, listen, I want to actually talk about this. This will blow your mind, right? I said it before, I'll say it again because it's the, the truth. Now, I'm not sure for how long a stud muffin like you have been around. We first heard that DMZ was supposed to happen back in Modern Warfare 19, but they didn't have time. Maybe they had a small team. I, I assume they had a small team because they pushed it for Modern Warfare 2. And they have been working on it for five years five years i know like like oh people not even oh my god right now, and it's one of those oh things but five years and we just recently we heard that it's gonna be launching as a beta so that's like facts it's not uh, after people started like going off and dmz yo dmz shies at this and that it's not that they planned that to release as a beta but the thing that i find a little bit like strong and independent from them and uh, quite frankly like that's like the sad part they made warzone 2 that's the only thing they worked on okay like that's Bruh. the only map they made and from that map they made the campaign not i i get it that campaign has some like new areas and whatnot but you know what they worked on warzone 2 that's their bread and butter they made that map made campaign from that multiplayer maps are taken from that they are also making dmc from that they're taking ground war they're making like invasion from that i mean damn can a brother at least okay i'm not asking for like bobby kotick to start like giving everybody like a million dollars i would love to get that that's my like my subscribe right now if uh we should be getting one million dollars all of us each as a token of appreciation as being loyal i mean damn bro but can a brother perhaps get at least one map I'm just asking for one new and unique map, just like a dedicated map for DMZ. Just one map, that's all I'm asking, bro. That's Look at this all tweet. I'm asking, Look at this tweet. man. I remember the reports earlier this year that said Modern Warfare 2 was ahead in its development along with DMZ. Lo and behold, neither was true. DMZ five years, by the way, boys. I know. With missing features, maps, and gameplay elements that should have been there from the start. Tell me when he's telling lies, guys. Tell me when he is telling lies. Wrong, Wrong is what Activision would say. This is a disaster. I, I don't know, man. I just really don't know. What were these devs doing for three years? And I want to reiterate, 3,000 devs over the course of three years uninterrupted. And we get a reskinned beta version of Modern Warfare 2019. We get like this mod that some stoners could make in their basement in about six months. Damn. That's how Modern Warfare... Damn. I mean, listen, man. Uh, in the future, uh, I'll tell you this, okay? We're gonna be living under social credit system. China, 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 number one mother crackers. They're already living in that social credit system, and once that hits the US, man, I'm telling y'all, man, blame truth, you might be the first one to have the minus one million social credits. I'm telling you, man, yo, where's Biden? Yo, Biden gotta do something, man. America is crumbling, y'all. He gotta put, like, instructions on water bottles, man. I mean, damn, Bruh. son. Roman numeral two plays, it really does. The UI, no human being with a f soul design this ui i'm convinced that the ui was developed by some nihilistic sociopathic ai it's soulless it, it's it's Damn. like uh, that's the part i don't understand man who really designed that ui like bro like look at them modern warfare 2 the original one look at black ops 1 look at black ops 2 look at black ops 3 even look at black ops 4 ui for god Damn it! That UI was simple. Whatever happened to that, make the games better, but keep the UI simple, bro. Like, simple. I don't want to be spending, like, time this and that. I mean, damn, man. Like, the weapon tuning especially. Like, the weapon customization UI. I mean, it's complete AIDS, bro. Like, anyone that looks at that instantly catches digital harpies. Like, damn, bro. It's made intentionally to be bad. It's made to hurt living human beings. Like, seriously. Uh, okay, uh, you gotta... You gotta you gotta pump the brakes uh, it's not that deep it's deep but not that deep i was looking forward to dmz i was kind of looking forward to it i may try it out for the channel if you guys still want to see it but my god can we just get a finished product i don't know what's going Wrong. on i really don't i mean i kind of do but i don't really want to get canceled so i'm not going to say anything but <laughs> it may maybe it has something to do with like the diversity quotas or whatever all oh, i know dang. is games had a lot less developers back in the day call of duty games specifically they had a lot less time a lot less devs and we got more content better content more polished content i i I don't know what else it is, man. I don't know what else it is. I don't really care, personally, if you hire a bunch of, I don't know, midgets from outer space. I really don't <laughs> give a shit, as long as the game's Bruh. good. Like, diversity quota, man. I hire a yeah, bunch Yeah, man, of listen, that's actually the, he's speaking the truth, man. I got no problem with whatever your East strike orientation is. I don't care if you go after the Pum Pum or the RTX 3090. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from, what your color is, what your ethnicity, eth ethnicity is, who you like to do East strikes with. Doesn't matter, Bruh. don't care, okay? Hire people for their talent. Hire people because they 
are passionate about it. Hire people that want to make a game that bangs, that people want to play. Hire people that that, 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 that that have a mission, that are passionate about making a game work, that people want to play, that people want to love. You know what I mean? Instead of like, you know what, you talk shit, you know, you're problematic. You look at the emblems, my guy. And Activision is probably one of those companies. Listen, man, how many flags they, they, they wave, right? Like, they waved all kind of flags. They are trying to just wave that flag to get garner support and sympathy and make their monies. That's what they're after. They don't care about yeah. you, man. They really don't care. They have waved so many flags, but they really don't care about the person. Do you want to see them wave the flags or care about the person? I would like to assume that you want them to care about a person, like a human being. You, right? My God, they don't even care about their employees. You think they're going to care about you? I mean, damn, bro. I don't know. Hire a bunch of illegal immigrants if you'd like. I don't care if like Chuck Canuck hopped the Canadian border and is here illegally. If he is the best goddamn Bruh. FPS dev, hire him. You know, uh, just hire him. Okay, I agree I with that. I don't care if Jose Seco, the Mexican drug lord, decides he wants to uh, become a game dev. <laughs> yeah, he's gotta be better than Joe Seco. Uh, pu <laughs> pump the brakes, man. Yo, this is time up. This is time up. Damn, man, like this is the type of shies that you get sued by. You gotta understand that you're living in America, my guy. Like, you're living under B uh, Biden's regime, right? Like, everybody's like, yo, I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna sue you. You gotta say allegedly, man. Allegedly. I mean, damn, you gotta stop, like, suplexing. Maybe the reason we're not getting, like, good uh, finished products is because every time something comes out, you're always trying to slide cancel your balls on Josie Cut forehead. My guy, you gotta sometimes let it go. Just... Just let it go. <laughs> Joseph Bartholomew Secot. What have you done? Is this all Damn. Joe Secot's fault? The dude's like the lead multiplayer design director. Is he in charge of DMZ as well? I don't know. I don't think they even know their own goddamn You're job. You're toxic. Subtitles in Infinity Ward. Remember Ashton the Mime Williams? She was the communications Ooh, manager, and I once called her out for not communicating, and then someone said, hey, the communications manager is different from the community manager, and then she liked that tweet, indicating that there is a difference, so then I looked up the difference, and there was no f difference. Bumbaka! Ladies and gentlemen, we are entering the emo blame truths era territory right now. We're entering the toxic Bruh. territory like dead ass, okay? And let me tell you this, man. Because apparently we're hearing allegedly because of blame truth, Ashton Williams actually peaced out from Infinity War. I mean, damn, the homie made her quit, bro. Like, that's actually wild. Those of you that are unaware, apparently Ashton Williams was a community manager for Infinity War. Apparently she was not communicating. <laughs> that's why people were Bum like, you know, bruh. Bruh. that's why people were mad and whatnot. And listen, man. I it's her her problem, okay? I don't like, know, seriously. Man. I don't know. I'm sorry for still harping on it, but I, I'm trying to just figure out what the f*** <laughs> people doing. I, I just don't think there's- She's any, living in your head, uh, Ren Free, my guy. Any semblance of, like, structure at not only Infinity Ward, but Activision as a whole. Uh, anyway, back to DMZ and whatnot. How bad is this gonna be? People were saying, hey, Spec Ops is pretty good, BT, but I had somebody on my Twitter say, hey, if you want a good laugh, go play Spec Ops. It's <laughs> fucking buggy. <laughs> it's always like Bum that, God. It's glitchy. It's weird. Some weird shit's happening. I haven't played it's it. Made. I have no desire to play Spec Ops. It's a poor man, zombies. Let's be completely real here. Tell me when I'm telling lies there. I would much okay, rather- Okay, no, no lies detected here, though. I love I love zombies a lot, okay? I'm a zombies guy, but my guy, like, Van Garbage killed zombies, bro. We didn't even have a proper zombies map. You you think you think zombies is good now, like that? The last good zombies game was Black Ops 3, arguably. I know some people would say, uh, wrong. wrong. Bruh. Bruh, it was Black Ops 2. My guy, I love Black Ops 1 zombies. I love Black Ops 2. I love Black Ops 2 equally, man. But Black Ops 3 was the last, like, polished, like, giant, mega, crazy game where it was, like, not only just blowing up over on YouTube. There's a reason why some games blow up on YouTube and why some games don't. When it blows up, it doesn't mean that the game is automatically, like, S tier. But there's a little bit of that contribution aspect to it, right? If it blows up on YouTube, that means that the game is doing at least something right. And Black Ops 3 Zombies, that was a phenomenal game. Black Ops 4, looking back, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. But at the time, compared to Black Ops 3 Zombies, it was kind of bad, okay? Bruh. And uh, then we had, like, what? I believe Infinite Warfare or Infinite Warfare Zombies came out after Black Ops 3. The last one was Vanguard Zombies, and that literally killed zombies. And in a way, I'm glad that we didn't get it this time because the zombies fatigue is real, and I genuinely hope when Treyarch comes out in 2024, zombies is banging that time, right? If Treyarch didn't get stretched so thin and had to change Sledgehammer Games diapers for <laughs> Vanguard, maybe we could have got zombies in a Modern Warfare 
player game, finally. But yeah, I hear Spec Ops is glitchy, and again, it's marketed as a full-fledged feature. I don't know. But apparently, the Popo, the Babylon, the cops got involved over on the Nadia cheating matter in Call of Duty. No cap. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see you right there. It's the craziest video ever. Subscribe.